Now we are in the chapter of 12.4 which is general curvilinear motion. So we now move on from the linear motion to curvilinear motion. It occurs when the particle moves a curved path. So this is different from the linear path. And the concepts are similar. We are going to deal with position, velocity and also acceleration. The position of a particle is measured from fixed point O by the position vector R. And this is the distance or the position. And then for a particle travel a distance delta s along the curve to the new position p prime within a small time interval delta t, it is defined by r prime equals to r plus delta r. So this is corresponding to the p prime. So this is the displacement from the first position to the second position. So this is displacement uh, delta r, or for the path is delta s. Average velocity of the particle is defined by the difference of uh, the displacement, delta r divided by delta t. In terms of acceleration, uh, we take the delta v divided by delta t. We are following the same convention as the linear motion. So delta v divided by delta t. Also, this corresponds to d, double integration of r, with respect to double integration to t and the acceleration act as a tangent to the hodograph okay what is hodograph if you have uh, the initial velocity of v this is the point of velocity for the particle and then we take all this into one origin back origin uh, position and this is basically the movement of the particle this is the velocity and with respect to this velocity this is going to be the acceleration so this is basically tangent to the hodograph which is the tracking of the velocity not the tangent to the path okay if this is the path okay this is the path it's not tangent to the path it's basically tangent to the hodograph which is the velocity when you have the vector position we can always calculate the magnitude of the vector using Pythagorean theorem so x squared plus y squared plus z squared and then square root them and the direction is specified by the components of the unit vector likewise for the velocity we can get the magnitude of velocity using the vector using uh, Pythagorean theorem and also uh, for the acceleration we are using the same concept uh, we can measure the acceleration uh, magnitude uh, using Pythagorean theorem in summary, the procedure of analysis, we look at the rectangular coordinate system and express them in terms of x, y, and z components. And the rectilinear motion is found using v equals to ds over dt, a equals to dv over dt, or a ds equals to v times uh, ds. The magnitude of the vectors are from uh, found from the Pythagorean theorem. So now let's look into example 12.9 at any instant the horizontal position of the weather balloon so this is basically a weather balloon and this is for x defined by a 90 meters if the equation for the y is x squared divided by 30 determine the distance of the balloon from station at a so this is station at a the magnitude and direction of the both velocity and acceleration when t equals to 2a so let's solve this one so we have um, x equals to 90 and then uh, y equals to uh, x squared divided by 30. And then it says that determine the distance uh, when t equals 2 seconds. Okay, uh, When t equals to 2 seconds, x will going to be 9 times 2. So this is going to be 18 meters x equals to 18 meters y is going to be 18 to the power of 2 divided by 30 so we are going to get 10.8 meters so this is okay now the distance okay the distance between this so this is x equals to 18 y equals to 10.8 so this is d uh, and then d equals to um, x power of 2 times uh, plus y power of 2 is going to be 18 to the power of 2 uh, and 
to the power of 2 okay and then square root them 20.99 meters so this is the answer for the first one okay distance done okay then magnitude and the direction of the velocity and acceleration so now uh, we start again uh, so we have x equals to 90 and then y equals to x squared divided by 30 for the velocity and x direction so we have um, x dot or dx over dt so this is going to be 9 okay this is going to be 9 and for y uh, since x is resides inside the y function so we need to use the chain rule okay because at the end of the day you don't want to differentiate against x we want to differentiate against t so y equals to x squared divided by 30 and then using chain rule dy over dt equals to dy over dx times uh, dx over dt so remember chain rule so this is the chain rule and then uh, dy over dx is basically 2x divided by 30 times dx over dt is going to be 9. So it says that the distance is 18. So we just plug in the values. 2 times 18 divided by 30 times 9. 10.8 meter per second. Okay, so this is basically for the velocity at y okay so now we have this value and this value now we would want to calculate the direction of velocity so this is uh, x dot equals to 9 and this is y dot equals to 10.8 so this is basically the direction of the velocity and also it says we want to calculate the magnitude this is the v so v equals to x dot okay that's dot squared plus y dot squared square root so this is going to be 9 to the power of 2 plus 10.8 to the power of 2 square root so we're going to get 14.06 meter per second so this is the magnitude of the velocity for the direction we use 10 so this is theta so 10 theta equals to 10.8 divided by 9 and then theta equals to 10 minus 1 10.8 divided by 9 so here we have okay let's go to the calculator again 10.8 divided by 9 50 Point two degrees so this is the direction of the blue next question is determine the acceleration we have um, this is for the velocity and this is for the uh, this is for the velocity x this is velocity of y at the acceleration of x and acceleration of y okay now we have x dot equals to 9 uh, and then y dot equals to 10.8 10.8 so basically this is x times 9 right okay so or 2x times 9 divided by 30 30 all right so when we differentiate against x okay differentiate again so this is going to be zero so for y dot uh, we are trying to convert it to uh, acceleration in the y direction okay so this is going to be uh, 0 0.6 x and then 0 0.6 x is basically 90 okay x is 90 so 0 0.6 times 90 and then we are going to get 
5.4t okay so this is y dot then when we try to convert uh, to acceleration in y direction so basically uh, dy dot divided by dt okay so here we are going to get 5.4 meter per second per second okay so here we have this uh, acceleration okay ay equals to 5.4 meter per second per second and the direction is is 90 degrees okay 90 degrees up